around, but what worlds are left for them to conquer? Ekaterina Gordieva and Sergei Grinka come here as Olympic champions and world champions. But it could be a little more difficult. She has not been well, we've heard, and seemed quite ill only this morning. from the brilliance of the actual elements they have in the program, something that perhaps the eye is unable to detect is the fluidity in which they move with. They move as one. This is exactly as the way top pairs are supposed to skate. It is the unison and the in-betweens that set this pair apart from all others. today. This performance is certainly equal to the performance in which they won the Olympic in Calgary, meticulous, very, very flawless. They will receive top marks. They deserve them. Well, if she's not well, you'd certainly never know it by her demeanor or her skating. One of the highlights in the program, the split double twist, it certainly would have to be about as perfect as it could possibly be. But what really impressed me, again, was the fluidity and unison, which was meticulous with this Soviet pair. This pair was recorded last night, and we look at the first set of marks for the World of Olympic Champions. Still to come, of course, the pairs free skating, and from this afternoon, the original set pattern, ice dancing. Those are top marks all the way through for the reigning Olympic and world champions. You can't be much more consistent than that group of five eights. For her, she's per perspiring fairly heavily. She obviously runs running a fever. And now we go up to five nines for artistic impression and they still look like the world champions we'll return to budapest and more of these 1988 worlds after this <laughs> 